Okay, starting off here with the Atlanta Hawks, we have a jersey right here that's completely white and it has like piping with triangles and it's supposed to resemble hawk wings and then there's gold around it and this jersey is in honor of the 50th season that the Hawks have been in the city of Atlanta. And then on the bottom right, it says true to Atlanta and this is a very cool design. It's black and white with some gold and it's pretty clean and I actually like it a lot. For the Boston Celtics, their jersey is just a simple white jersey with some green font and some and gold outline. And this jersey is inspired by the white warm-up jerseys that former Celtics greats like Bob Cousy, Robert Parrish, Bill Russell, and Larry Bird wore. The Celtics are the most winningest franchise in NBA history, so this jersey honors that and is very cool. Next up for the Brooklyn Nets, we have a jersey inspired by Biggie Smalls, born and raised in Brooklyn. And this one features some side panels of multicolors, which is the artistic styles that he brought to the mainstream. And, and this one's really cool and really honors Biggie Smalls really well. And then on the bottom right, it says Bed-Stuy, which is the neighborhood in Brooklyn that Biggie grew up. So this is a really cool jersey. It works really well for the Brooklyn Nets. Next up for the Charlotte Hornets, their color palette for this jersey is inspired by the aircraft history in uh, North Carolina you know, the Wright brothers and stuff. And on the right side of the jersey, the right bottom, it says City of Flight, which is also inspired by that. And I really like this jersey in general. I think I like the one from last year a little bit better, but this one's cool. Uh, I like the color and I wish it had some more purple like the other one, but it's still very cool. Next up, the Chicago Bulls. This jersey is just all black and then it has two stripes and a few stars. And this is in honor of Chicago's four star city flag. Uh, typically, it's white, I believe, but for here, they made it on a black jersey background. Also, on the bottom right, it says Sweet Home, and it's very clean. I really like it as a jersey. Maybe it would be better white, but I'm just picky at this point. So, I like this jersey. It looks pretty cool. Next up, for the Cleveland Cavaliers, this jersey is in honor of Lake Erie because the bottom, as you can see, is blue, and I'm guessing that's like the waves of Lake Erie. And the Cleveland font that you see on the jersey mimics the Cleveland sign that welcomes visitors to Lake Erie from uh, Cleveland. So it's a very cool uh, jersey. I really like the orange and the blue. It really stands out for this jersey, and it's a little different than any really jersey I've seen so far. For the Dallas Mavericks, this jersey is in honor of the entrepreneurial and technology uh, spirit of Dallas. It basically just has the blue and the black as the jersey itself with the Mavs logo right in the middle of it. And on the bottom right, it says True Maverick, I guess in honor of the entrepreneurial spirit of the city. For the Denver Nuggets, this jersey resembles the Skyline logo from the 1974 season. Their design, uh, they were really successful that year and it features the rainbow, but this time it has some elevation lines throughout the logo. Um, it looks very cool. I really like it, the white background and the rainbow, and I think this jersey works really well for the Denver Nuggets. For the Detroit Pistons, this jersey is in honor of the city's steel and iron buildings, and it really shows the work ethic of the city of Detroit. That's why the color scheme's a little black and dark like this. So it's in honor of that, and it just shows how hardworking the people of Detroit are. And I personally don't really like this jersey very much because of the color scheme, but I understand why it was made for this reason, and I think it's a good idea overall. Next up for the Golden State Warriors, this jersey honors the Chinese culture in San Francisco and the Oakland area and just generally in the Bay Area. Uh, it has the, their logo is like in a shape of a Chinese coin, and then it honors it with the colors, uh, the gray background. I'm not really sure what that's for. I think that's just a general background that they put in. And it has the Golden Gate Bridge right in the middle of that logo. So I think it's really cool and it's an interesting design. I think last year's design was a little bit better, but I also didn't really like last year's design either. So next up for the Houston Rockets, this jersey also honors the Chinese culture, but instead in Golden State, it's the Chinese culture in Houston. And it uses the color red, which represents good fortune and success in Chinese. And also, the two Chinese letters in the middle of the jersey is Rockets and 19, which appear as Chinese characters right in the middle of this jersey. I think this jersey is pretty cool, and I really like the design, which is supposed to implement like Chinese formal wear as the background for this jersey. For the Indiana Pacers, 
This jersey is supposed to implement the Indiana Flojo jersey that saw uh, six playoff appearances and two Eastern Conference Finals appearances. And as you can see, this jersey is supposed to evoke the idea of speed in the minds of the viewer, I guess. On the right side of it, you can see that there's like two yellow lines on like a blackish type of road. It's supposed to be a road and just that's what the Pacers idea is about. And this jersey is pretty cool. Uh, I wish it was different colors, but overall it's a... Uh, it's a good idea. For the Los Angeles Clippers, this jersey is inspired by the move from San Diego to Los Angeles, which the team made in 1984. And that's what the idea behind this go is. It's supposed to have it's supposed to resemble the three-star logo from the 84 transition and the move to LA. It doesn't really resemble the Clippers in general, but it's a good idea and nothing that we've ever really seen before. So I kind of like it. For the Los Angeles Lakers, this jersey design doesn't really have a specific purpose, but it's just a different design for the Lakers. It has the black pinstripes with the purple background and the gold lettering with the black. It says here that it's supposed to honor Magic Johnson's three MVPs and five championship rings. I mean, I don't really see what it has to do with Magic Johnson, but overall this jersey is pretty cool and LeBron will look really good wearing it, you know? For the Memphis Grizzlies, this jersey is supposed to evoke the thought of professional wrestling, which apparently the city of Memphis really enjoys. And on the side, you can see that the three gold squares is supposed to mimic like a championship wrestling belt that uh, wrestlers get when they win fights. So this jersey is uh, not really one of my favorites, but I understand the concept behind it and I understand why they did it. For the Miami Heat, the team brought back the Vice City color scheme, but instead of the jersey being completely white, now it's black with the pink and the blue. Obviously, Miami fans love it, just general basketball fans love it. I love it. I think this is a great color scheme for them and just looks really great for the team overall and the jersey looks great, you know? But let's hope for this year they can get the court to be Miami Vice style instead of the normal red and orange color because it kind of clashed last year, if you know what I mean. For the Milwaukee Bucks, this jersey is in the idea of their Mecca Arena, which is where they play. It's an abstract arrangement of colors, which are blocked by blue, reds, greens, and golds. And this is basically what the jersey's in the style of. It's uh, nothing too, too crazy. I mean, obviously the colors kind of look weird together and the shapes are abnormal, but this jersey looks pretty cool and it really stands out compared to many of the other jerseys that Nike made this year. Next up for the Minnesota Timberwolves, this jersey is in honor of the musician Prince who died about a year ago or maybe longer. And this jersey features the purple rain from his song and it also resembles a lot of the costumes that he wore in his performances. And generally it's just black with some purple in it. And Nike's a little bit more proud of this jersey compared to all the other ones that they made for this year because it honors the musician. Next up, the New Orleans Pelicans. This jersey is inspired of the Mardi Gras celebration that happens every year in New Orleans. And it features the purple, green, and yellow color scheme of Mardi Gras. And it's very cool, it's very simple and basic, but I really like it as a design for the Pelicans and it really works. And Anthony Davis will look great in it. For the New York Knicks, this jersey is very simple. It just has orange and blue on the side panels, maybe resembling the skyscrapers of New York and just generally it's like a navy blue color it's very simple but i think it looks really good i don't think it has really any deep meanings to the jersey but the jersey looks really cool and i really like it for the knicks for the oklahoma city thunder this for me honestly out of all the city edition uniforms is probably my favorite this design is in honor of the native american tradition of oklahoma and it features a lot of elements from Native American culture. And then just the font and the style is just really cool. The color scheme, I really am a big fan of this jersey. What do you guys think about it? Because this is probably my favorite out of all of these. For the Orlando Magic, this jersey features um, the space galaxy that they had from last year. But except last year's was completely the whole jersey, this one only is on the side panels, the galaxy part, and the rest is basically just black. It doesn't really have a reason for it, but I think this jersey looks really good, and it really works for the Orlando Magic. For the Phoenix Suns, the color palette for this jersey is inspired by the dusk in the Arizona desert, and it also says Lost Suns, which is in honor of the Hispanic-speaking parts of Arizona 
which come support the Phoenix Suns. So this jersey is very cool and I really like it a lot actually. It has a little bit more color than any of the other Nike jerseys from this collection and it looks really good. For the Philadelphia 76ers, this jersey is actually a collab with the movie Creed and it's in honor of Rocky's sweatsuits when he was in the movies and training for fights. That's why the whole jersey is basically gray. It also features the stars resembles the parchment paper, which is a nod to the Declaration of Independence, which was signed in Philadelphia. And this jersey overall is pretty good. I know a lot of people, a lot of my fellow 76ers fans don't like this jersey, but I like it compared to the one last year. So sorry about that. For the Portland Trailblazers, this jersey isn't too crazy compared to the other ones, but it does have a Northwest facing slash which is in honor of the Pacific Northwest, which is where Portland is located. Also, it features the gray on black color, which represents the city's dark rainy skies, which happens most of the year. I really like this jersey, and I think it really works well for the team. For the Sacramento Kings, this jersey is basically the same thing as last year's. It's in honor, I believe, of the old Kings that played in Kansas City, possibly. Correct me if I'm wrong. But this jersey looks pretty good. I like the blue and the white colors and then the maroon red. And it says Sacktown. I believe it said something else in last year's. Correct me if I'm wrong. So I really like this jersey and it looks really good. For the San Antonio Spurs, this jersey is exactly the same as last year's. It's in honor of the military history of San Antonio. Just features a black, darker camouflage instead of the normal green that you'd see in the military. This one's just dark for the Spurs colors. And it's very basic, it's the same as last year's. It looks really good for the Spurs though, and I really like it a lot actually. For the Toronto Raptors, this jersey is almost exactly the same as last year's City Edition jerseys, except last year's was black. Once again, it has a gold arrow pointing up, which is resembling of Toronto being the North, like the northernmost NBA franchise in the NBA. And it just looks really cool, and it's very simple, but clean, and I really like it a lot. And it looks really good. I think it looks better than the black one. For the Utah Jazz, this jersey once again came back for the team. This is basically in honor of the Red Rock aesthetic and Utah's majestic rock formations and natural landmarks in the state. It has the yellow, red, and orange, and then it goes all the way to black in the shorts. And everyone really likes this jersey, so they kept it, and it's a, it's a big fan favorite. So I think it looks great and uh, one of my favorites for sure. Finally, for the Washington Wizards, this one is basically very simple, it's just a black jersey, and then the side panels are to evoke a look and a texture of the Washington Monument. It's very simple, just black and white basically, um, nothing too crazy, but I think it really works well for the Wizards and the franchise as a whole. So that looks really good. Thank you for watching the video guys. Make sure you check out this video from last year's City Edition jerseys, and like, subscribe, and share this video with one of your friends. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys later.